Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this fine summer flowers bracelet. Consider subscribing with the bell, liking, sharing and commenting. In this way you motivate me to make more and more similar tutorials like this one. Also please like, share and comment and support me as member and this comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Even if you are a beginner don't worry because I'm showing everything in easy steps and I'm sure that you will be able to make them. You could uh, make earrings matching this bracelet or you could turn this bracelet into a necklace in this way by just adding a chain so there are endless possibility with this design. You could also make a ring if you want using this part as a top. Without further delay let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys so what I'm using here are four colors of 11 on seed beads, red, black, yellow and turquoise. This is lobster claw clasp and two jump rings. You could use other of your choice. I'm using nylon thread from spark beads. You could use your favorite brand of thread here. This is size 11 beading needle, use similar size of beading needle. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers that I use to attach my jump rings and my clasp to my work. And now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm going to start my work by picking up 16 black beads. I'm sliding those down and here what I want to do is to make a knot and how I make my knot I make a loop I go twice through the loop I've made and I gently pull just like this then I will make one more knot Okay, now I have this. Then I will go through some beads in this direction. In my next step guys, I'm going to start adding turquoise beads. I'm exiting from this bead, I'm skipping the next one and I'm going through the following. Okay, then I take another one, again skip this one and go through the following. And then again skip one and go through the following. And I will continue these guys absolutely the same way until the end of this row. If you're not familiar this zigzaggy stitch is called peyote stitch. But don't worry about the names if you don't know them. Just follow the steps and everything will be okay. Okay, now if you work correctly, you should have eight of those beautiful turquoise beads. And I want to go through one of those. Then I pick up two yellow beads and I go in the next turquoise. Again. Okay my friends and now I finish this row and for the next one I want to exit through one of those yellow beads. I will take a red bead and I go in the next yellow. 
and one black go in the next yellow. Then red, a black one, a red one. a black one and in this way I'm going to alternate the colors until the end red black red black red black I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you here if you forget how I'm doing it just rewind the video and repeat this part from here okay my friends and now here I am at the last two steps of my work again I take a red and put it between the yellows and then take one black and put it above the turquoise. Okay. Now I have this. Okay. In my next step, guys, I'm taking a an yellow and I'm going here. And another one. And then another. And in this row, guys, I'm just filling the gaps with yellow beads and it is all the same. Just add one yellow everywhere, connecting the black and the red ones. Okay, I'll continue this off camera and I'll meet you here. Okay, my friends, and here I am where I'm adding my last yellow bead from this row. Then I'm going in this yellow. Take one black and go in the next yellow. Take two yellows and go in the next yellow. One black go in the next black yellow, sorry. Two yellows. Next bit that is sticking out. One black. Next bit that is sticking out. I'm forming these cute little flowers. Two yellows. Next bit. one black next bead so i'm alternating above the red i add two yellows and above the black i add one black i will continue this until the end and i'll be back okay my friends and here i am at my last step where i'm adding my last two yellow beads from this row and now i will start another row i'm going through this black one Add one turquoise and go in the next yellow. Take one yellow and go in the next yellow. One turquoise, go in the black one. One turquoise, go in this yellow that's on my way one yellow here at the center and one turquoise and I go through the black one a turquoise go in the next yellow a yellow go in the next yellow a turquoise go in the next black a turquoise go in the next yellow okay and uh, i will continue this guys until the end and when i'm up to here i'll be back if you forget how i'm doing it just rewind the video and repeat the same steps from this side okay my friends and this is the last bit that i'm adding here then i will go through all of those beads in this direction and 
and I want to exit here at this turquoise bead and I just want to add one turquoise and go through the following turquoise and if you can go through the yellow as well okay now my friends I want to go through the following two yellows and my goal is to exit out of the next turquoise and I need one turquoise and go here then following yellow and the next two yellows turquoise another turquoise then my goal is again the following turquoise and I take another turquoise here And I'm going to continue this, guys, until the end of this row, and I'll be back. Okay, my friends, and add, I'm adding here my last turquoise bead from this row. And what I need to do next is go through all of those beads in this direction. and exit out of this turquoise bead okay then what else i would would like to do is to cut here this tail thread okay now what i'm going to do guys is to make another element like this one you could do it absolutely the same or you could invert the colors of the red and the yellow and this is what I'm going to do I will invert the colors I'll be back in a second okay my friends and I did another element like this one but I just inverted the colors of the red and the yellow if you want you could do all of the elements like this or like this and how you invert the colors it's really easy just follow the first steps and when I said red you take yellow and when I say yellow you take red and in this way you will invert them so now I want to connect those two elements and start my bracelet but the first thing I want to do is to pick up two turquoise beads my lobster's claw clasp and two turquoise beads and I'm going back in circle through this turquoise like this then I'm going to reinforce it okay and in my next step what I want to do is to go here through some beads make a knot and cut my thread by the way if you're making earring this is the way you do this just here at earring finding instead of a clasp and I go here guys after I make this loop I go here twice through this loop I've made and I pull then what I want to do is to go through some beads in this direction and by the way you could repeat this knot several times if you want and when you're ready go through some beads and cut this tail thread okay now 
What I'm going to do to continue making my bracelet is to take my next element and you see here I still haven't cut this tail thread and I'm exiting here. And what I need to do is to take one turquoise bead and go through this turquoise like this. Then take another turquoise and go back like this. In this way I'm making a connection between these two elements and when I add more and more elements I will create a beautiful bracelet. I'm making the knot the same way that I showed you. I'm pulling. And I'm cutting this tail thread. Okay guys and now I will continue adding more and more elements. For my small wrist I will add six elements so I will continue alternating them yellow red yellow red until I have six and I'll be back. Okay guys and after I add more and more elements this is what I have. I just added here my sixth element. I showed you only this and this but then I continued absolutely the same way yellow red yellow red and I just attached this yellow to this red at my last step. Now what I want to do next is to zigzag through all of those beads. Okay here is where my thread is exiting after I did this reinforcement and I will go through all of those beads. I will exit here at this side and I'll be back to show you how we finish our bracelet. Okay my friends and I'm here at the edge. I'm just exiting out of this bead and I'm going to take five turquoise beads and my jump ring and I'm going back in circle through this turquoise again and when I go back like this in circle I have be six beads in circle, five that I added and one here at the flower. And what I want to do next is of course reinforce them. And now I'm going to make a knot the same way I showed you so many times, go through some beads and cut my thread. Okay my friends and now my fine summer flowers bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe, also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make new tutorials, usually twice a week and you will be inspired often. You could also support me in Facebook or other social networks by sharing my work. If you make beautiful designs following my tutorials, please post them on my Facebook or Instagram pages to be able to see them and share them with the community here in YouTube. You might also want to support me by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.